Hey guys, Simcoder here and today we are going to uh, learn how we can list videos and display them to the user. So we are going to display them in the main screen, the home page. And uh, yeah, it is going to be pretty straightforward. However, we have something that we have, must correct from the previous lesson and we'll take care of that uh, right in the beginning of this lesson. So yeah, let's jump right into it and let's get this done. Okay, so first things first, we must get our Docker running. So let's say sudo docker compose up builds, uh, then input the password and just let's just leave this uh, running in the background. In the meantime, we can go into our backend and fix the part that I talked about in the beginning of the lesson. So uh, the part where we didn't get wrong but forgot to do in the previous lesson was to add the verify um, token function to the uploads function. So in here, when we do save, we are using this user json.uid. This is wrong. And this is wrong because the user json.uid is the Firebase ID of the user and not the ID of the user in our database. So uh, our the way <laughs> by which we can fix this is by adding the ID token in here and we'll take care of the front end in a second and we'll make a call to the verify token function which we uh, would have to do anyways uh, but uh, I, the lesson was getting kind of long so I decided not to so let's do it uh, right now so in here we are going to create the user func variable so let's say require and it is in the same folder as the video.js, so we can simply say dot slash user. Okay, so now coming below, I'm going to say, let me just collapse this, okay? User func dot verify accounts, and now it takes on user and the ID token. We say then, and this result, uh, as you might remember, is the uh, user object, which is perfect. It is exactly what we need. And I'm going to copy all of these contents inside of the then callback. I'm going to remove the user JSON because we are not going to use it. And I'm going to replace the user JSON by the results. And in, in here, instead of UID, it is going to be underscore ID. This is the ID that Mongo created for the user and uh, it is obviously what we need to use in this case. So uh, now we must add the ID token to the um, HTTP request and to the routes. So going to the routes, we have the upload uh, endpoints and I'm going to add it here. So ID token and ID token within the save function. Okay, so the, the front end is done. Uh, we don't need to do anything else, I believe. Uh, I'm going to just add the catch in here in case the user is not uh, the ID, the token of the user is not verified and I'm going to jump right into the upload file within our front end and in here uh, I'm going to have to create an ID token just like we did for the app.js so I'm going to go into the app.js and grab this line here this call here firebase off current user get ID token and I'm going to paste it right in here and say, uh, cl uh, close this in here. Let's indent this so it is easier to see. I'm going to add the catch and there we go. We have our ID token. Now all you have to do is to come in here and place the ID token. Okay, and that's it. Uh, now in order to test it, I'm going to go into our uh, web page. Let's check if the Docker is running and no errors appeared. Okay, it is fine. I'm going to reload it. Uh, we are already logged in. And I'm going to come in here and say uh, test video, test description, something like that. For the file, I'm going to add the video that we are using previously. The image, again, the same. And I'm going to upload it and uh, it created it su successfully with the uh, ID of the, the user 
as it should be. So now that that part is taken care of, we are able to start listing videos. And for that, I'm going to close the front end and just take care of the back end for now. So the first part that we need is to add a, a, a new endpoint. And for this, I'm going to grab the uh, boilerplate endpoint and simply add API uh, slash video slash list because we are listing every single video that we have. Okay, and inside here, we are going to make a call for the video funk and it will be a called list. We still haven't created it, but we will in a second. Uh, and the then and the catch will be the same as always. So I'm going to copy and paste them inside here. Okay, so now jumping into the video function, I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to call it list just like we did before and then add the promise. Again, this uh, shouldn't be anything new to you. So resolve, reject, and create an arrow function. Okay, so now uh, it gets to the point where we are going to do something new that we haven't done in this series, uh, which is make a query to fetch something from the database. So it is really simple. All we are going to do is video, which is the model, and we are going to uh, call a function called find. Uh, this find function will find every single object uh, that has the model video. Um, so it will return literally everything that's in, uh, with, uh, within the, that document. And we are in the next lessons, we are going to fine tune this. So make it so that the user can search for a video uh, for a specific video or for a general video. So if the user types in in a search bar, uh, I want a video with, for example, sim coder, let's say. Uh, you expect only videos related to sim coder to appear, right? So we are going to do that uh, in the next lessons. But for now, we are going to keep it really, really simple and just do the find. Then we are going to call populate with uh, the string creator inside. And this populate will just go into the model, which is the video model, and populate this creator. Because uh, if you were just to um, do a find without a populate, then the creator will would appear with an ID, just an ID. But we want to get all of the data related to the, that creator. And that's where populate comes in handy because you are able to uh, get all of the object of the creator. So you'll get the name, the, the email, and everything that's inside the model, uh, the Firebase ID in this case. Uh, we don't have the email, but the name. You get uh, what I mean by that. So just populate creator. And then we'll just say exec to execute the function and add the callback. So results and will resolve the results. Okay, uh, then add the catch. I'm going to copy it from above, indent everything, and there we go. We have our list function. So now uh, I'm going to actually grab Postman. And I said you, uh, to you guys to install uh, Insomnia, which is uh, exactly the same uh, program or better yet it does the same thing which is to make http requests however insomnia isn't working that well for me so i'm going to use postman instead but you are free to to use insomnia uh, the steps are the same and i'm going to make the request for these endpoints let's see what comes out of it and undefined is not the promise let me check and yeah, I made a mistake here. It is supposed to have new. Let's try that again. And there we go. We, we have all of the videos that we have created. Uh, only the last one has the creator, but as you can see, and I don't, I'm not sure why that happened, but uh, probably because I, I know uh, it's because I didn't have the, um, the verify account 
and for some reason that uh, didn't go as planned. But this last one was just the video that we've just created. And as you can see, the creator contains all of the information of the related to the user. So the name and the Firebase ID and the ID, obviously. So that's it. Uh, now all you have to do is to um, show it in the front end because we already have our endpoint uh, up and running. So I'm going to close all of this. jump into our front end and in the home this is where we are going to make the request or better yet this is where you are going to make a call for um, the component that makes the request because i'm going to create a new uh, file for this and it is going to be video list it can be something like that and it is going to be a js file don't forget to add uh, the JS at the end, I'm going to move it out of user because this is going to be a general uh, component. Add RC, and there we go, you have our video list. Now in the home, we are going to import that same file. So video list from dot slash video list. And this way we are able to come in here and I'm going to leave the disease home and just add video list. Close that up. And now uh, the home component will call upon the video list. And if you come into our um, browser and go into home, there's nothing there because the, the video list is empty, obviously. So if you come in here and add ASD, for example, ASD will, will appear. Okay, now jumping back into the video list, we'll have the component is mounts. And this component did mount will be responsible for making the request. But before we can create a request, we must add the constructor, which we will be props, uh, super props, as we've done before. And we are going to create uh, the, the state of the component, which will contain the video list. So video list, and this will be an empty array. Uh, at the moment, we'll obviously add uh, things to it within the component it mounts. Okay, so now uh, we are going to make an access call which will be a get call. And let me just check uh, within the route if I didn't make a mistake. Okay, it is uh, a get request. And we are going to add the HTTP slash slash 127.0.0.1 port 6200 and then API slash video slash list okay and we can simply say then result open that up and now we'll just set the the components to uh, the video list to uh, whatever came, comes from the the result uh, for this i'm going to first of all say that uh, that is equal to this because we'll have to use that uh, this inside this callback. However, you won't be able because uh, this, when it is inside this callback, is a different object. And because of that, we must uh, save it somewhere else in order to be able to use it. So that dot set state, open brackets, open curly brackets, video list will be uh, equal to result.data. Okay, and let's console log all of this. That dot state dot video list so that we can see if everything uh, went smoothly. So yeah, let's do it. Coming back in here, you'll have a typo. Okay, component it mounts. The first C is not capitalized and we must import Axios, obviously. So Axios from Axios. 
Okay. Jumping back in here, no errors appear. Let's go into the console log. And uh, within the line 17, which is this console log, we see that we have an array uh, containing all of the videos that we have, uh, which is perfect. Now, in the render, we must render out the, this list. And this is, yet again, something new that we are going to learn. So I'm going to say that the class name for the, um, the parent div will be container. And now we are going to map out the videos, the video list. So this can be done by saying this dot state dot video list dot map. And uh, this is uh, this will return a callback, um, a function which will contain the current video, and it will uh, create the, uh, iterate through the current video through each video that's in the list. So this way we will get the information of every single video, and um, yeah, we don't need to use fors or whatever. And and here it is a map. Uh, this is a clean way of iterating through an array within um, our render function. And uh, okay, so now we'll return uh, an element which will contain the current video. So you can think of it like, like that. It, it is much simpler. And let's click create a div. I'm going to collapse this. And OK, so uh, first things first, in order to re uh, display an image, I'm going to make use of a package that you already have installed, which is called lazy load image. This is just uh, this exists because we are pulling the image from an HTTP from a, an HTTP with an HTTP request from a different site. In this case is our, our Google bucket um, storage Google Cloud Storage, better yet. And because of that, we must do a lazy load, which just means that uh, it will load whenever it gets the image. And this package takes care of that, so we don't have to worry about any of the loud logic that's behind that. So we can see, say, load, uh, lazy load image from React lazy load image component. Okay? Now jumping back in here, I'm going to create a tag with the lazy load image uh, attached. And I'm going to say, uh, first of all, we don't need this to be a full tag. We can just close it there. And I'm going to say that the class name will be called uh, MD12, make it so that it occupies the entire space of the parent. And uh, I'm going to say that the source is equal to the current video dot image. Uh, remember, this will be our uh, image URL. So in the case of the images that we have here, let me just jump right into here. We have this URL, for example. And if I open that up and remove the double quotes, we'll get this image. OK, so that's what we are loading in this um, tag. Then we'll have uh, texts, which will be for the current video name. And that's the, the last thing that we'll add because we don't have uh, more information. Uh, we could use, uh, we could show the name of the, um, of the creator as well. So let's do it. So creator.name. And that way we are able to show everything. OK, now jumping back in here, let's see uh, the name is undefined. And this is because we have a couple of videos inside here that don't have the name defined. So in order to do a check for that, we can simply add uh, an if. So current video, video.creator equals to null. Then we'll just return. That way, we won't display uh, all of the videos that don't have a creator associated with it. 
Okay, and as you can see, there we go. We have the list, uh, the listing of our videos. However, this image is uh, comically large. So I'm going to add a limiter for that. I'm going to add a class, gallery item, gallery video list, uh, video list image. Okay, we can call it that. And going into our styles.css, which is the first time that we do, or it's second, I believe, uh, we can come in here and say video list uh, image, open that up. And if you don't know a lot about CSS, uh, don't worry, I'm not going to use it a lot in these uh, lessons, but yeah, it is not hard to, to use. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. I, I'm just going to add a max width, uh, max height related to the image. So in this case, let's say 140 px. Okay, and it uh, stretches out the image, which is not um, uh, great. So I'm going to say object fit, and now you have a bunch of options. Let's try contain, and there we go. It uh, shrinks the image so that it uh, maintains the aspect ratio. But it doesn't look like a list a lot because it is taking the entire width of the, the page. So we can simply overturn this by saying class name equals to call md3 to each and every single image. And this way it will just contain um, 3 out of 12 width. Uh, within the parents, and that way we are able to to do accomplish this. So I'm going to actually upload a, one more video, ASD, whatever. Just show you guys how it works. Upload. Wait for the request to be sent and received, and I'm going to remove upload, going back to the home page. Okay, and it takes uh, up this uh, aspect. And because of that, I'm actually going to change the class name to a row. And there we go. We have uh, these working. I'm going to add the container above. This has to do with Bootstrap. Again, this is something that uh, you get used to the more you code. But uh, row uh, will contain, uh, will be inside of the container. Uh, the container just adds some margins and paddings so that um, the image seems uh, the, the main part of the page will be centered with uh, a respectable margin so that it, it looks nice within most screens. So um, container, this is something that Bootstrap does really well and that you should always use. And as you can see, it adds some margins to the, to the left and to the right so that the image seems centered because in most pages, um, this margin exists and it exists for a reason because it isn't good to look at the page that takes the full width with small items it just doesn't look all that great so yeah and now we have a list it is displaying the videos it is displaying the name of the creator and it is displaying the, um, the images uh, in the next lessons we'll uh, show you how to um, create a, a video display page and in those lessons i'll add a link here uh, containing all of this so that the user can click the, the video that he or she wants to watch and that will take uh, that user to the video display page. But for now it is all. Uh, we are able to display images and uh, display the list of the videos which is exactly what we wanted. And yeah, in the next lesson again we'll be displaying the videos so yeah it will be an exciting one. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.